So one of the most important movements for just about everything is proper hip flexion. The problem is, is that if you've been sitting down for too long or you've learned to compensate, the main hip flexor does not really work. So we're going to test and see if it's actually functioning in Olivier here. So he's going to bring his knee up bent and we want to get him above that 90 degrees. Uh, below that we have a lot of muscles helping out, but above 90 degrees we have the psoas. So we're going to test the psoas. I'm just looking to see if he's strong here. I'm going to push this direction. I want you to resist. Hold strong. And I can break him. When I get here, now he's got his other muscles helping him out. He's pretty strong, but getting a little bit higher. So from here to here, there could be a little bit more strength there. So we're going to go and do our NMR manipulation for him. So you're going to relax. The spot is going to be indicated in the handouts where we're going to be applying pressure. Your job here is to take a deep breath in through the belly, through the belly, and exhale. Good. A couple more times. Good, one more. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. We're going to redo the same test. Knee high, hold strong. And now we have a lot more strength. Good. So we're going to do the same test on the other side just to see if the compensation is the same. Uh, most of the time it does it on one side, it's likely going to do it on the other side, but we're just going to test to make sure. So we're going to do the same test. Good, above 90 degrees. I'm going to push. I want you to relax. I'm oh, sorry, not relax. Fight me. Okay, so it's even worse on this side. But this time I'm going to show you that uh, we can get him to do the same uh, trigger spot on himself. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this and you're going to lie 45 degrees between the belly button and the ASIS, the hip bone. You're just going to lie on it and you're going to take deep belly breaths. Okay. So when you're doing this, this is very uncomfortable. So your goal is to try to relax and breathe. It's not an easy thing to do when you've got a ball jabbing you in the gut, but he's going to do his best. How does that feel? Not great. So typically this will feel like indigestion or cramps or just a weird visceral pain. You can make this worse by extending the arm on the same side. So extend your arm a little bit. Okay. One more deep breath like that. All right, good. We're going to retest, see what that looks like. So the same trigger spot, I'm going to go and he's holding strong. So this just shows that you could do this uh, yourself. You can use a ball like that, but sometimes just lying on your fist will do the trick as well. All you're trying to do is go into the psoas trigger point and stimulate it for 30 seconds to a minute. 